Hello everybody, it's Sophia and welcome to today's video. I'm excited to be vlogging again because like I say, I always love it. But um, I'm sorry for my appearance. I just woke up, like literally just woke up and I'm looking a little rough. I'm in a zebra onesie, it's really comfortable. So today's an exciting day because I'm throwing a Halloween party for my friends. It's actually a really small party. I'm sad because Camilla and Vicky can't come because they're at a theater conference. So that's okay, I'm still gonna have some of my good friends over. So basically you guys are gonna come along with me as I get ready for the party. I'll show you some recipes and also just kind of the day getting ready for it and the actual party itself. So it should be a lot of fun. Right now, my dad and I are heading over to the grocery store. And I'm wearing yellow glasses because why not? Like honestly, they don't even go with this outfit, but whatever. We're gonna get some Halloween stuff for the party. And we're off. Hi, Daddy. Hey, this is little Bowie. Cranking yep, David out. Bowie. Classic. Okay, baby carrots. This is a really petite carrot. You mean what they're little little ones? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Throw them in the cart. We also need a big head of cauliflower. That's organic, so that's good. And then we'll just break it up into little baby cauliflowers. What in the world? Pumpkin spice cheese? I don't know what I think about that. Gotta get some white frosting and a white cake mix. Every year I make these really good pretzel snacks and these are the ones that, they, that I need for that and these pretzels are my favorite. They're so good and I only get them when I make these. So I am off to find a mini pumpkin and I look bald right now because my hair is up. And I can never put it up because it's so short, but today I just bobby pinned it back and made it work. But here we have our pumpkins. Lots to choose from, but I think I need a much smaller one, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Oh, perfect. I found some inside instead. Look at this little guy. He's cute. Next stop, Papa Murphy's. Papa Murphy's. Come Yummy. Come we got our pizzas ready, and they're the cutest. Let me show you. They're like jack-o'-lantern shaped, which is so cool. You can't really see right now, but when we bake them, it'll be perfect. Now I actually have to head over to a coffee shop because I'm meeting my hairdresser there. And we're gonna figure out like what we're gonna do with my hair next, and I'm probably gonna make a video with her, so we're gonna try to figure out that. So that's where I'm headed now, but I'll catch you guys after when I'm home getting ready. First, we are making this Halloween bun cake right here. I think that looks really good. We're gonna be making that for the party. So let's do it. All right, I'm using this purely simple white cake mix and jamming out to some Stranger Things inspired music, which is really appropriate for Halloween and season two coming out. So basically I just layered on all of the different colors of batter. Now it's time to pop this into the oven. So I just dyed some frostings that are gonna go on top of the cake and it is like, these look disgusting. The colors did not work out. Like this was supposed to be orange, but it turned out this like pukey green yellow color and it just looks so gross. And then that's blue. It was supposed to be purple, but it turned out blue. And then this is green. I mean, it's fine, but like, I guess I can get away with it because it's a Halloween cake, but honestly, I feel like it's gonna look really gross, which is not very good. So while I wait for the cake to bake, I'm going to make the other little candy treats that I make every year at my Halloween parties. They're so delicious, and I made them in videos before, but they are these pretzel butter snap bites. I actually have a Halloween party video, which is one of the worst videos on my channel, but it's from like two or three years ago, and I show you the recipe on there, I'm pretty sure. But I'm just gonna do a little time lapse of me making them because they're so good and they're a perfect little party treat that everyone loves. Guys, I'm actually laughing at myself because I had to pull up my old Halloween video from like 2014, DIY spooky snacks for a Halloween party, and I have to like find the recipe because I forgot how to make them, so. Guess I'm watching my own videos for some inspiration. These are now out of the oven for like four minutes, so before the Hershey Kisses harden, I gotta put a candy corn on them. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna make these adorable little mini ghosts. I found this package of ghosts that you hang in trees and I really wanna make them to decorate outside with. So I need to find some crumpled up newspaper or something to stuff these and then tie them. I think it's just adorable. I, I'm loving it. Looks like my cake is ready. Let's do that. Let's see how it is. Ooh, oh my gosh. Wow, yeah, that's hot. So I flipped the bunt cake out and it's actually kind of brown, which is a little disappointing, but hopefully it's pretty on the inside. So I heated up some of the frosting in the microwave so I can drizzle it over, but this is actually like not looking too pretty. I mean, this is not the prettiest cake I've ever seen. Ew, this is actually gross looking. Ew. So I got this mini pumpkin and I tried to carve it out, but it's a pie pumpkin, so like not all of the like innards are coming out. That's all I got out, but every time I keep trying to get this out, more keeps peeling. So that's the best it's gonna be, but I'm just gonna fill this with saran wrap because I'm putting some guacamole in here. It's gonna be a little guac dish, which I think it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, so before everyone gets here, I just wanted to show you the outside. It looks so good. My dad did such a good job of putting up lights, so big thank you to him. I really appreciate it. So we've got some orange lights over here by the pond, and then I put up the little ghost that I made earlier, and then my dad put up this creepy looking ghost, which is perfect. Then some lights on the trees, by the window, got some pumpkins here, and then here's our table, but no food is on it yet. The food's mainly gonna be like over here. Skull here, some more pumpkins, some candles, a little jack-o'-lantern, more little ghosts, some lights, more lights, some Halloween lanterns which we need to turn on, more little ghosts over here, and I just think it looks so good. I cannot wait. I'm actually super excited now. So I'll update you guys more once I make the veggie dish and stuff, put all the food out, and when people start to get here. Also, I need to get my costume on because they're coming in like 20 minutes and I still don't even know what I'm wearing, so great. All right, we're gonna put some dry ice in the punch bowl so that it bubbles up all nice. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's so cool. It's like a real Halloween cauldron bubble broil thing. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. And look at this amazing display of food. And we've got pizza in the oven and people here, so it's gonna be a good time. Oh, and also a ghost projected on the ground because the fabric didn't work out. Wait, the face is kind of gone, but this is the jack-o'-lantern so pizza, hot, and it looked more like a jack-o'-lantern before we baked it, but it Aww, still looks really good in so cute. cute. So I like it. Wait, Say hi, ladies. Just got here at 10. Yep. Well, that's it. I just had to make sure I was in a freaking vlog. Bye now. All right, so everyone has left. It was so much fun. I really, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I had so much fun with all my friends who were just hanging out. It was a really small like, get together. It wasn't even really a party. It was just kind of fun little get together for Halloween. So hopefully you guys got some good ideas in case you want to throw a party. And there's still food coloring on my arm. But I know it's a little late for you to plan your own Halloween party, but maybe next year you can or whatever. And comment down below what you guys are going to be for Halloween if you are celebrating it. Because I actually loved my Arthur costume. If you didn't know, I was Arthur from that cartoon. And and my friend Emily who came was also Arthur and it was a coincidence. We did not plan that at all. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you in my next vlog. Bye!